Hi friends, Knife Detector here, and what I have in my hand is a vintage Buck 307. I estimate this boy is from the 19, late 1970s, early 80s, around that time. Um, let me tell you a little bit more about this knife. I've already done a review on a Buck 307. I have one uh, with about... Uh, 80% of the main blade there and the rest of it has been used. So these are very good knives if you can find these. I believe these springs are carbon steel. I think the blades might be uh, some type of stainless because they hold very well. Uh, but this is a quickie video and the reason I'm doing this video is because I came across this Buck 307 at uh, market days that we had in Harlingen, Texas. Uh, that my wife wanted to go to because she likes to buy crafts and plants and such and I'm always looking for knives you know that now although I just finished my vacation I came across this guy when I saw it it had a price tag of $12 and the reason it had a price tag of $12 is because it had the main blade broken and here are the pictures for that So what I did is I bought it. Uh, I talked him down to 10 from 12 and we talked knives for a little bit and he showed me some other ones that he had. And some of them, you know, most of them were pretty generic. Uh, I did find another one that was kind of tempting, uh, but I decided to pass on it. And uh, that other one was a Victorinox, uh, but it was an SD and well, I have too many of those small ones already. So I let it go. and. And uh, I went ahead and I purchased this one, talked them down to 10, and I thinking that I could uh, reshape the main blade because as you can see, the entire long nail pull is still there. And that's the reason I, I really bought this because a lot of the blade is still there. So on this knife, of course, you have the main blade, which I'm gonna show you what I did in a bit, but you also have the spade blade, which as you can see, it's pretty much all there. It hasn't really been used much, right? Uh, oh, by the way, when I got this, this knife had brown paint all over it. I managed to clean most of that out. And of course, it has the sheep's foot. Look at that sheep's foot. It's pretty much all there. It's got scratches from some use. Of course, this knife is like from the late 70s, 80s. And uh, it's pretty much all there. And I love that about this knife. So the main blade is really thick on this knife. In fact, I compared it to the other uh, 307 that I have. And it seems like this one is a little bit more girthier and uh, the blades are a little bit thicker on this one, the steel. So heavy, heavy duty knife, guys. And uh, check out what I did. I decided to turn that broken main blade into a bit of a cleaver blade. So I kind of did a little bit of grinding and I turned it into, <clears throat> excuse me, a bit of a cleaver blade. So now I have a sheep's foot, I have a cleaver blade, and uh, I have the spade blade. And of course, this is gonna be a regular carry. Uh, I'm going to carry this, you know, my pocket. Uh, I love this knife. It's got some good weight to it. In fact, I think weighing it might not be the best thing right now even because it's missing a great deal of the blade. See, the blade, if it was full, would run all the way over here. Uh, but like I said, you know, it was broken when I got it and I showed you the pictures for that. But I decided to make this little mod and I wanted to share that with you guys and my happiness because I do like this knife and these knives are a little bit rare. If you happen to find one in a good, uh, in good working condition and uh, that has most of the blades there, then you're going to be talking about spending about fifty, sixty dollars on a knife like this, you know, um, simply because you know that's uh, that's how much these cost, and people love these because they're so substantial and durable, and as you can see, they withstand the test of time. These knives are just really, really well made. Of course, you know, this is a Stockman pattern, and I do like Stockman knives. FYI, I thought long and hard because I am going to be doing a series on Stockman knives coming up maybe in a week or so. I'm going to start probably a 10 video series, 10 or 11 video series on Stockman knives. So every video I'm going to be making, uh, probably in about starting in about a week, because I have another video coming up on Friday, and then after that after that is going to be a different stockman knife that i'm going to do a video on so if you like stockmans i got a long series coming up my friends all right guys y'all take care amigos